Graph the function on your own paper, then choose the correct graph. And when you graph exponential growth, you have to do a t-chart and you also have to do some shifting sometimes. The t-chart we're going to do is based off the basic equation, y equals 2 to the x. And then we're going to use this plus 2 and minus 3 to shift the graph afterwards. So set up this t-chart, x and y. Now for the x values and exponential growth, we always use negative 1, 0, 1. Those are for the inputs. Then we'll do the outputs. 2 to the negative 1, that's going to be 1 half. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. So then we'll plot those three points. Negative 1 up 1 half. 0, 1, 1, 2. And the graph will go something like this. And I'm just doing a dashed line for now because the graph is going to be shifted. But that's the way it would look. And the asymptote is right here on the x-axis, y equals 0. OK, now let's look at the shift. x plus 2. Now normally, it should be y equals 2 to the x minus h plus k, like that. And the h is the shift left to right. k is the shift up or down, just like every other function. Now because we have an x plus 2 and an x minus h, it's going to be a shift to the left. It's going to be 2 left. And the minus 3 for the k means 3 down. So let's go ahead and shift this graph 2 left and 3 down. So I'll start with the furthest point on the left, the negative 1, 1 half. And then we'll go left 2, 1, 2, and then 3 down, 1, 2, 3. That will put it right here. And while I'm at it, I'm going to shift the asymptote down 3 as well. So it should be a dashed line right here, 3 down from the x-axis. I'm just using that as a guide to help draw the curve. The next point to shift is 0, 1 right here. 2 left, 1, 2, and then 3 down, 1, 2, 3. That puts it right there. The third point is 1, 2. 2 left, 1, 2, and then 3 down, 1, 2, 3. Right there. Okay, so the exponential growth graph should look something like that. So let me review the process. You make your t-chart based on the base function, which is here. Then you plot your base graph using a dashed line. And then you go ahead and shift the points. And then draw your final graph. So that's how you graph a shifted exponential growth function by hand.